guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be like a bit of a day in the life sort of thing because I feel like you guys like those and it's literally just genuinely what I'm getting up to and I don't really have anything else to film. So and it's also going to be kind of like a full day of eating as well in one just because it is a day in my life. I do eat food. So I'm going to show you it all but first we're going to go to the gym. I'm just going to show you my outfit because it's fire this morning obviously it's all interactive as always um but i'm wearing the long sleeve graphic tee oversized tee in sage sage how do you say sage is it sage or sage i just sounded like i said the same thing there um just ignore me um but yeah literally love these tops so much for like days um, and then I'm wearing the effortless shorts in sage as well as always these are my all-time favorite shorts but yeah, I am doing quads today. I will actually show you my workout. So this is what it is. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why is it not focusing? There you go. That's what I'm doing this morning. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I am like starting to like track all my weights like really closely. So I usually just like have it all in my head from like what I've lifted in previous sessions and then just like go off that. But like I kind of like I kind of like got myself like thinking quite a lot. Um, you know when you're just like lifting a weight and you're like, oh shit, how many did I get for this last week? Um, I'm like, oh, how many did I get for that? And obviously that's not great. You need to know what you're lifting, obviously, for progressive overload. So I have started taking like a notepad with me in the gym, um, just so I can write it down like as soon as I've done it. Yeah. I am closely tracking it all so that I know that I'm improving, although I knew that I was improving before, but like I really want to focus on slowly and gradually like increasing the weights on my lifts just a bit more closely and paying a lot more attention to it than I did before. Obviously I'm doing this 60 day self care challenge as well um, so let me know if you are joining me on that as well. Obviously I've not really spoke about it on my YouTube channel at all yet, it's literally just been like on my Instagram and my TikTok but yeah if you don't know what it is it's basically I'll show you I'll show you the video actually but this was it basically obviously you have like um the 70 is it 75 yeah 75 hard and obviously that's like very intense um, and I wanted to make something a little bit less intense so it's going to be working out five times a week with one active rest slash recovery day eating clean and drinking three to four liters of water every day waking up at 7 a.m every day with eight hours sleep every night only drinking alcohol and special occasions doing something for your self-care every day reading a whole book by the end of the whole 60 days save money and make sure that your room is clean every day i've actually got so many messages from so many people that are actually like joining me on it and i'm really happy about that so cute but basically going into well i'm in week two now so it's thursday today and it is week two um, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm seeing changes in my body. I think I've spoke about this on my YouTube, but like I'm not bulking anymore. I'm down to maintenance now, so I am like feeling a little bit leaner than before. And obviously, I'm just like closely tracking everything my water intake, my food, I'm tracking all my calories and everything. And it's just doing me the world of good. So let me know if you're joining me on that. And I'm absolutely loving my sessions as well at the moment. They are fire. I'm just going to dry scoop my creatine and my pre-workout. Because I just don't have time. Creatine. And then this is my pre-workout from EHP. I've also not spoken about this on my YouTube yet. But I am now an EHP like athlete. Um, I'm so excited about this because I actually love the supplements so much. This is the best pre-workout I've ever had in my whole life. And as you saw, I also had um, the greens as well with my breakfast. That's just to like get a little bit more um, like veg in, obviously just in case I don't get any like enough in the day. And it also has like so many antioxidants in and it's there's just so many benefits in it. Just taking one scoop in the morning is so good for you. And you'd also probably think that it tastes like Shrek's swamp water, but it's strawberry margarita flavor. It's actually really nice. We don't think it, but trust me, it tastes nice. But anyway, this is the pre-workout and this is in the flavour Fantasy Soda. It's so nice. I actually genuinely like it. You know when sometimes you have pre-workouts, you're like, Bleh. this is genuinely nice. I swear. I swear to you. That's a big old scoop. you do it you blow my mind without a word Boom. stuck upside down 
Hey guys, I'm sorry for the abrupt end yesterday. Um, I just got like the most exciting text of my life probably. Um, so I just like, I was just focused on that all day. I did not want to pick up my camera. I got the text while I was in the gym and to be honest, I'd like nearly finished anyway, but I didn't even finish my whole workout because I was just so excited. I skipped calves, um, any excuse really. Something very exciting, so yeah. I am just gonna follow on to today because today I'm going to the gym right now as well as you can see I'm in my gym clothes but also um, Anton is coming home today as well so we're doing something exciting tonight we're actually going for like a really fancy meal to basically he's not been home since like I hit 100k on Instagram so I want to celebrate that with him and also celebrate the text I just got yesterday so it's a bit of a celebratory meal um quite like a posh meal so I'm really excited to actually like dress up because I never dress up and you're not gonna be able to tell me your opinions but um for like a fancy meal is oh ignore that orange one is that black dress too dressy ignore the orange one behind it is that too dressy with like some trainers anyway yeah as i was saying um i literally do not go out i don't really have a social life so i want to kind of make the most of it and i think i might kill my hair probably too much but like i really don't care so anyway i'm gonna try and take you along on that as well just like briefly i'm obviously not gonna be like <laughs> with him because i've not seen him in ages but i'll just probably get a bit of content of the food and stuff but yeah, I'm going to show you today's fit. So I got some fresh new trainers, which is why they are being worn in the house. Although I do have my old ones in the house anyway. Shh, don't tell my mum. So yeah, these are from Office. I actually got a few questions about where I got these online because apparently they're like sold out everywhere. But I got them from Office. And then these are on Active Classic 2.0 joggers in Midnight. And then this is the Classic 2.0 um sports bra in black and then this cap is actually from sisters and seekers um i really like it it's new that's today's gym fit and it is back day as well i am going to be using this today for my pre it's just a little bit of like it's a little bit less intense than actual pre-workout um but it is the hardcore oxy shred so there is regular oxy shred and then this is the hardcore one and it just kind of like enhances your brain function and your mood basically but pre-workout is kind of like obviously very intense but this flavor actually sounds like kind of grim 
but it's actually so nice. Um, I would definitely recommend trying this. So I do have a code if you are wanting to try any of these things because I will be using my Beyond BCAs as well intro workout. Who knows if BCAs actually do anything but I like them because it tastes nice as well. But I understand if you don't want to spend your money on flavoured water. But I do recommend the Oxy Shred and these are the other Oxy Shreds. So this is the non-stim one and then this is the normal one in guava. But I do also recommend the Oxy Greens. I've not had time to take them this morning but I usually do take them every morning. Just in case I don't really get like enough um, veg and fruit in like throughout the day. It just helps a lot and it just has like so many benefits um, within it. Like it's full of antioxidants so I definitely recommend that. And then this is my pre. Obviously it's out and ready to go because I take it basically every morning but basically i don't know if i've actually like spoken about it in this video i think i have but i've started to basically take this like notepad in the gym with me and track all my lifts so let's get on to it ignore that page you can't see their page um so yeah i'm basically writing the date of each thing down and then like the weight of each lift obviously like it's just self-explanatory isn't it um because before like before i did this i just kind of like tracked my weight in my head um, I have for my whole fitness journey, like I've never done this. Um, and I've just like remembered what I was lifting in my head. But then like sometimes I just think to myself like, how many did I actually do of this last week? And then I just kind of estimate and just do a random number. Um, but I want it to be really closely tracked, especially because I'm like now doing this like 60 day self care challenge. I want to make sure that I'm like getting the absolute most out of the challenge and making like the most progress that I possibly can. So that's what I'm doing. I'm tracking my weights, I'm tracking my calories, tracking my water intake, just tracking everything at the moment. Now, that might not be for some people, but I absolutely love it. And I love like being in a routine and like knowing what's going into my body, what's going on. And like, I just love the structure of like things being tracked. Like obviously some people like hate tracking calories. Like I completely understand that. It's just, it's not for everybody, but I personally just love it. I just love, like ticking ticking off the boxes and just being so on track so yeah i love it but yeah i'm gonna go to the gym now i don't know if i said i'm doing back and biceps and um, but i'll take you along with me on that so yeah i can see myself right now because my there we go um yeah i'll take you along on that and i'll see you there okay guys i'm done at the gym and i forgot to film all my workout for my youtube I'm really sorry so I don't think there's going to be that much footage from that session in this video but oh well we move on Um, I've just got back home and had some dinner and stuff and I'm just getting ready to go and pick Anton up I'm just packing my bag Um, but I think the next time I'll see you is when I'm like getting ready to go out so that's exciting okay guys I'm at Anton's now which is why um the room looks like this not very nice and I'm just about to start doing my makeup to get ready to go out i'm actually going out i have plans um and i'm excited i am so hungry though i'm actually hungry okay and we're going to a michelin star restaurant so i'm not going to be full um so our best bet is probably like going somewhere to get pizza afterwards so but anyway i'm just going to enjoy the fact that it's a michelin star restaurant but i just don't think it's really the place that me and Anton are going to absolutely love just because we just eat so much but this is for like a special occasion I wanted to go somewhere fancy so it's going to have to do and I'm sure it'll be so nice anyway but yeah I'm going to do my makeup and I will see you when I'm ready okay guys I am ready but this is a rare sight that you see me looking like this but I'm going to show you my dress because I played a very risky game with this one. I was in New Look a few weeks ago and I literally just saw it on the side. I don't know where it came from because it wasn't on the actual shelf, like the rail that it was from. And I couldn't see it anyway. I just found this one on the side and I didn't even try it on. I just nabbed it and I've still not tried it on till this day right now. Which was a very risky game, but I love it. <laughs> it was a bit of a struggle to get on. It's very small. Definitely worth it. I'm glad I nab that right off the shelf but yeah here's me already <laughs> guys it's so posh in here it's quite it's, dead like though, isn't it yeah it's 25 pounds for some chicken that better be maximized with protein I'll tell you that for free i might get the salmon for a starter what yeah we're getting triple cooked chips triple Oh, I'm like, I know, I think I want french fries. 
I don't eat red meat, but I kind of fancy some red meat. Because it's fancy. Yeah. yeah I like you don't like beef or something. That's right. it's raining and my hair's all <laughs> flat. Yeah, I'm my hair's flat. It's not curly anymore. Can I tell them about Master Chef? Yeah, okay, go on then. Firstly, I want fish because on Master Chef, right? We always like have fish and it looks proper nice. And I just have salmon like. I do like fish. Well, I, I don't, I don't branch out with fish though. That's what I'm saying, I have some fancy fish. I literally have to like salmon. Oh, we could get an egg. I don't have any fancy fish. Bone marrow. We do garlic ale. Bone marrow, mate. Really? I think I'm going to get... Oh no, I might get mussels. What's the starter? Yeah. I think that's mussels. Well, what's, what's that mean? Yeah, I think it it's is. It's a loot. Guys, I'm not pushing off at this point. <laughs> Burrata. Oh no, it's tomatoes, isn't it? Mm. Hello, Hi, Dean. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh. Yeah. I just got free bread. Free drink. Free drink. Guys, we might just dip after this. <laughs> we got the free bread. I was a hack the system. That's like our friends when he goes, Can we have our free crab cakes now? <laughs> We've been stood up. Can we have our free crab cakes now? I know, I think I know what I'm having. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go now, but I'll show you my food when it comes. Okay, so I got, I ended up getting the mussels from my starter, and then Anton got tempura prawns, prawn masaman. And then we, I got a cocktail, Anton got a mocktail, and I got this peaches and cream one, and it's literally got a dollop of ice cream in it. So. Oh my dear, that's class. Dessert before starter is the new thing, guys. <laughs> Okay, so for my main, I got the chicken and then I got the parmesan, were they parmesan chips? Where were they? Truffle and parmesan. Truffle and parmesan chips and then Anton got the hand cooked chips. No, I'm, I didn't. Triple cooked. Triple cooked chips. I, I'm, I'm more of a fries person. Anton likes the really fat chips. Um, and then did, you, did you get cod? Yeah, I got the cod. And then that's the cod. Got, Cauliflower, like cod. oyster. No, that's, uh, <laughs> that's an oyster. Is it? Yeah. And then also, um, mine said that I was getting mac and cheese, and it and it's that small that I was where it was. <laughs> like I was like, oh, it's just under there. I was like, oh, okay, never mind. I won't even bother. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, but this bathroom is unreal. It's so posh. So that it rained, and my hair is not curly anymore, but it's okay. But anyway, we are now going to go to the Alchemist for a few drinks and then we're going to go home because I've got the gym early in the morning.